Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Train Talk Daily. On today's show, we take a look at some of the most shocking Karen public freakouts caught on camera. So we have a whole lot of videos to check out, so let's jump right into it. So our first crazy Karen tries to start trouble at this hospital until she gets spotted by the security guard who is sick and tired of her sh**. Let's check it out. So our next crazy Karens go toe to toe in New York City. Let's check it out. Guys, you're shouting at an airport. You're obviously both from here. This is the most New York thing you could possibly be doing right now. Keep recording. Keep going. Hold the gun. Where's your bag? Take my bag. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, so this next crazy Karen feels like she doesn't have to follow any rules, all because she's in the military. Yeah, this Karen definitely has a lot of issues, y'all. But anyways, let's check out the full clip to see how it all went down. You guys let me know in the comments what y'all think about this whole crazy situation right here. Let's check it out. 14.4444. So they don't want to walk now because they want to be Then guess what? I have every right to step into the kitchen without you fucking touching me. That's the best Nobody part of the military. No, no, no. Because I'm in the military, I don't fucking have to. That's the best fucking part of my fucking job. You fucking. You got, are you touching the car? Move your vehicle. I don't have to move my vehicle. That is a loading zone. It says no parking. Can you not grab his car? Did you just did you just assault me? You no, just I didn't assault Oh yeah you did you put my now nah, you're going to jail, bitch. Oh fool, I'm afraid you're, you're afraid let go of the cards. Why were you not Why did you just put your hands on me? You if I just knocked you out, I would have been wrong, right? Oh, you knocked me out. I'll okay. kick your ass and I'll make sure that your thing never <laughs> You'll kick my ass. Girl, oh, you'll I'll get your old ass over. Ass. Ass. Let go! I told you you're not. Uh, so this next mother confronts this Karen bus driver who has been giving her daughter a very difficult time. Let's jump right into it. Go ahead. I love you. Have a good day. Please don't yell at my kids today. I don't yell at your kids. Yeah, you do. You're not too long. Don't you yell. Shut your mouth. You're not going to talk. You shut your mouth. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I'm asking you not to yell at my kids. How dare you tell yeah. me not to yell at your kids? Yes, they cry every day. Yeah. I can't hear you. So our next crazy Karen gets into a heated altercation with this guy after she accuses him of hitting her car. Let's check it out. I was hit from behind, but I don't know. Look this. You are here, and she can't shoot. Yeah. You see? Do you have where it went in, or where she drove into it? Or? You look, you were here, and she can't look. You see? She has. Oh my god, dude, she's so oh. young, dude. Oh, shit. Wow. Why would you hit my car? You, you did that to the front of my car. Oh, yeah? <laughs> What's funny? Uh, that's my new f car. Usually, when you rear end people, that's not how this works. Uh, it's okay. I'm gonna call the cops real quick. But yeah, you're saying that I hit you from behind. No, you hit me in the front of it. Remember when I was at a red light? You went in front of me and hit my car. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, probably move the car from thing and I'll call the cops for you. World star. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen, do, hey, I love you, man, but just, just, hey, go back over there. Thank you. Thank you. Just. Uh, so this next guy gets confronted by his Karen neighbor for playing his guitar way too loud. Let's jump right into it. Now, would you like me to ring the police? Yeah, that's what we got. Let's have a civil conversation. Let's have a civil conversation about it. We have asked him three times now, nicely, and they're still doing it. It's the middle of the day. You said there was not going to be a band. Greg asked you. And so you knew there was, did you? You knew there was going to be, did you? And you knew it was going to disturb our way of living. If you read the tenancy agreement, you will see you are not to have anyone disturbing our peace day or night and it's constantly you're not the only one in the street we need to actually well, we cut it off at a reasonable hour no it doesn't matter day or night day or not so Catherine they're here now harassing you so I'm telling you now if you don't speak to them and do something about it I will go to the police I'm that would giving be good you the to go to the police because it's not um, something that okay police... because day or night we know the legal rights of this and your tenants are disturbing our peace so you need to do something. You're liable for that. She's not liable. Okay, so what would you like to do? I think the police should be involved. Get you on Let's sit case. down and have a civil you'll, conversation you'll speak to them? about okay. it. And... So when will you speak to them? Do we have to go on again for another another day like this? Because they seem to have no regard for anyone else but themselves. Well, for the we haven't been, I haven't been doing, doing anything. You don't have to do anything. Your car's leaking oil. It's my oil. car is not Come leaking oil. Come and look at it. I sent you a picture. That's so, water. That's not water. That's oil. It's not we stepped in it. We tracked it up and down and into my house, man. I keep telling you, so now you're going to park up there closer to my house where I go through the back and you're going to put oil there where too? Am I, where am I going to park? I've been parking the same. Here. Dude, park right here. I don't here. park there. You I'm live sorry. here. I don't. Park here. I, you live here. I've been parking the same park for nine years. I don't care. The reason you're parking there is because you want to be stubborn about no, it. No, I'm not. I parked no, before, you, before you moved here. I, I've been, my car been there. You, you red dude. I've lived there. I've been property taxes there, there, man. I've been How do you want to compare that? Yeah. Okay. I got you, Rob. This is going to get a lot worse for you, Rob. So that's today's show. I want to thank every single person for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys. More Karens.